Hello humans, my name is Kayo here of Road, and this is just a quick update to my latest video that I uploaded a few days ago where I showed you how to install Instant ID, the latest AI tool that allows you to generate new images of your subject from a single reference image in only a few seconds without any training for absolutely incredible results. It is an incredible tool and a game changer when it comes to generating images of yourself or someone that you know. So if you haven't watched this video already, I definitely recommend that you do. But since the video came out, I made a few adjustment to the repository, making it easier and better to use, which is why I decided to make a quick update video to explain what changed and how to use the updated tool. Ok, so first of all, if you are one of my Patreon supporters, you should already have access to the newest post where I explain all the differences and updates and how to use them, as well as the updated one-click installer and the updated launcher. But basically, here is what's new. First of all, now you can use any Stable Diffusion Excel model that you want inside Instant ID. So before, the default model that we were using inside Instant ID was called Yammer Mix V8. And it was absolutely fine, it is a pretty good model that allows you to generate some pretty cool images, but now you're not limited by only one model. You can choose any Stable Diffusion Excel model that you want. And that is thanks to the introduction of Launcher Arguments. So for this I created 6 different arguments that you can use inside the launcher. In Browser, Server Port, Share, Model Path, MedVRAM and LowVRAM. So in browser allows you to basically automatically open the URL in your browser so you don't need to click the link yourself, it will do it automatically. The server port allows you to choose a specific server port for the local URL. The share arguments allows you to create a public URL if you want or not. The MedVRAM and LowVRAM basically reduces the image resolution under a certain point which basically uses less VRAM and makes the image generation way faster, so definitely try this out yourself for your system. And then finally, you have Model Path, which is basically the name for the XDXL model from Hugging Face that you will use inside Instant ID. And the new model by default, if you don't use this argument, is the Juggernaut XL V8, which is basically like one of the best models currently available for stable diffusion because it makes absolutely incredible realistic images as well as some really cool stylized images as well. But if you want to use another model, I recommend going to Hugging Face, then looking for the user code Stable Diffusion API, and then choosing a model that you want to use. But do not forget that Instant ID is only compatible with Stable Diffusion Excel models. So do not choose a Stable Diffusion 1.5 or 2.1 model, because this will not work. Ok, so now that this is done, let's say that I want to use this model called Juggernaut Excel V8 inside Instant ID. How do I do that? Well first, before we do anything, if you already installed Instant ID before, you need to update it to the latest version. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna go inside the Instant ID folder then you're gonna click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter, then inside the command prompt you're gonna type git pull, then press enter, and this will update the repository to its latest version. Then secondly, if you are one of my Patreon supporters, you need to download the newest launcher.bat file, just download it onto your computer, and then put it inside the instant folder. Then you're gonna right click on the file, click edit with notepad, and then here as you can see you will have a list of all the possible arguments that you can use for the launcher. So by default I already input the in-browser argument, which will basically launch the URL automatically, but now if I want to use this model, the Juggernaut X Excel V8 inside Instant ID, I'm simply gonna go on the page, click on this little icon right here to copy this entire line, then on line number 3, after in browser, you're gonna input this argument right here, dash dash model underscore path, then space, and then you're gonna copy the name of the repository for the Stable Diffusion Juggernaut model. And then you're gonna save the file. Now you can also input other arguments if you want, like dash dash share if you want to create a public URL, or dash dash medvram if you don't have a powerful GPU and you want to use this VRAM for the generation. You can input this argument right here. And then once again save the file. And then all you need to do is just double click on the launcher.bat file. And if this is the first time that you launch the newest launcher, it will start downloading the Juggernaut XL model. Now it is a pretty big model so it might take some time, so be patient. And after a few minutes, once the model is downloaded, the 
web UI will automatically launch in your browser and it is now ready to be used. But now compared to last time, where we were using the Yammer MX V8 model, this time we're using the way more powerful Juggernaut XL model which should give us way better and more realistic results. So like for example, if I upload an image, an image of the same woman as last time, but this time I will use a different prompt provided by the author of the Juggernaut model. I have basically the entire prompt of this generation. So I'm just gonna copy the prompt right here, then put it here. I'm gonna make sure that I select no style. Then I click on the advanced option. Then I copy the negative prompt and then I put them right here. And once again, without touching anything, if now I click submit with only one single image, after a few seconds I get something like this, which I mean is really super good. Compared to any other images that I generated with the previous model, this one is definitely way more realistic. And once again this was done with the Juggernaut XL model. If you want to use for example another model, well, you can. Which really makes this tech even more powerful and flexible than before. And that's really just fantastic. So yeah, that's really super cool. Oh, and by the way, another good news is that since I made a few optimization on the launcher, you can now actually use the Google Colab Doc for absolutely free. So you don't need to pay for an account to be able to use Instant ID inside the Google Colab Doc. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. This was a quick update just to show you what changed the last few days and how you can use the latest version of the Instant ID Web UI. So yeah, now that you have a huge catalog of models to choose from and to try, I'm sure that you will have a lot of fun. Also, do not forget that I provide priority support for my Patreon supporters, so if you have any issues whatsoever, don't hesitate to send me a DM, and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. So that being said, try this out yourself, and have some fun. See ya!